Hey Soul Family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot. And in today's reading, we're doing a very unique reading today. We're revealing through your reading an, a major event from your Akashic Records. And to do that, we are going to be, oh, I see this one, picking three piles today. Whoa, they are certainly ready. <laughs> so we have three piles. Let's see what they are. You can already see with the eye here. You're going to be seeing something major for sure. All right. That you have no idea perhaps about. For pile number one, you have the spirit plane. Sorry. There we go. How interesting. The spirit plane. Pile number two. You have the wanderer. And for pile number three, you have the shape shifter. If you like to pick with crystals, let me add these right now. There we go. So for pile number one, you have the green moss agate. I think you can see it clearer here. There we go. For pile number two, you have the carnelian. And for pile number three, you have the Dalmatian Jasper. So take a look at which one of these three piles or three crystals you're the most drawn to. However, if you feel drawn to more than one pile or more than one crystal, then this means that there are more major events to be revealed from your Akashic Records in today's reading. And as usual, you'll find a timestamp down in the description box. Click on your times and I'll see you in your readings. We are now going to start your pile preparation process. If you feel like you need more time to take a look at your piles and your crystals, please pause and whenever you're ready, begin your reading. Hey soul family, welcome to your pile preparation and shuffling process. I'm so excited about today's reading, you know, um, tapping into your Akashic records and revealing a major event there. So, you know, something amazing that I've noticed, perhaps if you're watching the pile preparation process, you're meant to know about this. I've noticed that they not, did not want to talk uh, during the, um, uh, the intro of the, of the reading where you pick the piles. But look at that. If you were drawn to the second and third pile for some reason, look, I think they are a part of the story. Do you see your cards? They're like connected. Look, the two cards are connected. Isn't that magical? The, um, the coincidence of them lining up together. Look at that. So this definitely tells me that if you feel drawn to the second and third pile as you watch your preparation process, it's the time where I get to talk with you. I believe um, if you're drawn to both, there's certainly more uh, in these two piles. You may want to check them uh, out. Okay, other than that, let's begin your preparation. And um, let me introduce your cards to you first. So on the left are the Oracle decks 
and on the right are the tarot decks. We'll be taking one card from this deck, two from this one, and two from each of the tarot decks. Right. So we kindly want a major event for each of the piles from their Akashic records, please. What is a major event that they're supposed to know about today from their Akashic records? So we're taking two from this deck. What is, oh, thanks. What is a, oh, thanks. A major event. That is being revealed to you today from your thanks. Actually, I feel this one Akashic Records. Okay, just sign up there. There we go. Oh, these are three. Well, you plan, and then the universe has other plans. <laughs> okay, oh, this one. You don't say. So I guess from this deck, we're meant to take three cards. <laughs> so cool. Okay. So two. I believe this one would be the third one. There we go. What major event is being revealed to you today from your Akashic records? Let's divide this pile into three because it's huge and this way it's easier to handle. There. We'll take two cards. Oh, there we go. Two cards. So, our three piles for today's reading are now ready. <clears throat> Let's put them neatly together. Right, so let's pick up the first pile. with the green moss agate. Pile number two with the carnelian Pile number three with 
be Dalmatian Jasper. So, our three piles for today's reading are now ready. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I am so excited about today's reading. Um, tapping into your Akashic Records, of course, with your permission. Thank you so much. Love you guys. And let's get straight into your reading. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen the beautiful green moss agate. And I don't know if you can hear this, but part of your reading are beautiful birds chirping outside. Feels very serene and calm and beautiful, especially that you have the spirit plane. I feel beautiful energy in your pile already. So this is, of course, your main card. Let me adjust that so you can see it. There you go. Let's keep it right there. And let's take a look at the rest of your cards. We're, of course, today tapping into um, an event to reveal a major... Tapping, sorry, into your Akashic Records to reveal a major event in your life. So, ah, so you have Valkyrie. Okay. You have... Whoa. <laughs> the Sun in Capricorn with Achievement... And you have Jupiter and Scorpio with manipulation. Together, they're saying something really big, actually. Okay, let's now take a look at your tarot cards. So, so you have the Five of Swords. Mm. You have the Knight of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles, look at that, wow, <laughs> oh, so cool. You have the Queen of Wands, so many court cards here, wow. And I feel, okay, we'll talk about it in a second, but hold on. You have the Eight of Wands, look at that, so cool, <laughs> okay. You have, wow, the star card. Mm. Oh my God, I think once that appeared, uh, I, I'm kind of putting the picture together for you. You have the death card. All right, just being careful with the new YouTube, YouTube rules, very strict. All right, so you have the death card. Mm. You have... Ah, the hanged man. It's like this reading is giving you a perspective of what to expect in the future. Uh, that's so cool. You're really seeing an event now from the spiritual world uh, in this reading for sure. This is a major event here with the star. And you have the justice card, which tells me that you're not only going to tap into the Akashic Records to find out about a major event, but you're also going to get a very good advice to protect yourself, maybe even legally here. Look at the coincidence. 11, 12, 13. Yes, three major arcanas uh, uh, right next to each other. What are the odds? So first of all, this is certainly a major event as... We have um, asked to tap into your energy. This, with the star card here, uh, there is, especially that there is a star and the queen of wands, which has to do with popularity. This is uh, like a major star uh, kind of event where your name is announced. Perhaps you're given a prize here. Hmm. I do see... 
in your reading, my dear pile number one, that you will create some sort of huge achievement that you will be given a great prize for. In fact, I think you're going to be called and invited to this event to take that great prize. Why am I saying that? Because in the star card, you have the uh, Yorona um, spirit. And of course, La Yorona is like a siren who spirit who calls out into the night. Ah, ah. Well, it's a long story. I don't want to uh, read, take you from your reading because I only say the stories when they match the reading. This is the part that we need with La Yorona calling uh, at night. So it appearing in the star card and uh, uh, the, with the rest of your cards, I really feel, see that at some point in your future, <clears throat> we're seeing a clear event where you're going to be called, invited to an event where <clears throat> You're going to be talk about a major, talking about a major achievement that you've done. You're going to be taking a certificate, a great prize of something major that you've done here. That is, that is so cool. Death card shows that this achievement has had a major transformation on people. Perhaps for some of you, if you work in the medical field or maybe even in the legal team, t uh, uh, um, field, but especially in the medical field, because we do see a bed here, maybe you have revolutionized something or discovered something. This is, I know, very specific to some of you. Maybe uh, some of you work in the field of plantology or herbs. With the light, some of you are uh, scientists, f uh, physicists. Hmm. It, it really, there's so much. These are just examples here. And so you, within your work, uh, you're really going to be achieving something big. And you're going to be called to an event. In fact, you're going to be called by a, a big organization or maybe uh, the president of your country or the king of your country or the, maybe the queen, some something, or maybe, I, I don't know, like a big organization like uh, Hollywood, the Oscars, maybe the Nobel Prize. This is certainly a very reputable, respectful prize. Why am I saying that here as well? Because you have the Valkyrie who are very popular in Norse mythology. They are like, um, they are sent by Odin to warriors to help them out during the war. So but the Valkyrie, they have great powers, they give great powers. They protect you, very strong protectors. Once they're there, you're absolutely protected. And they can also, you know, take uh, spirit, take life. So, uh, uh, with the Valkyrie showing up, especially with La Llorona, I really feel like you're being called by a major organization uh, or a major uh, powerful person um, like the president or a minister of your country, uh, something like that, to take that a huge prize for one day making such a change like that. Major event here. Right. We'll talk about the Queen of Pentacles in a, in, in a, re, really shortly because that's really cool. But I see way bigger things with manipulation and the Five of Swords and the justice here. I see so much related to your story here, actually. You know... Seeing that vase here, this reminds me of the infamous optical illusion. You know that one where we ask, whoops, what do you see? Do you see a vase or do you see two people uh, kissing? Do you know that optical illusion? This tells me... 
Hold on. This tells me that this is before you take the prize, you have went through <clears throat> some a risky situation, right? But with the Valkyrie showing up, remember when I told you the Valkyrie protects, they're sent by Odin for the warriors. And so I see that you are a spiritual warrior. You're going to do something major with the manipulation. It's like it slid out from some people who, for one reason or the other, wouldn't want you to achieve it. It could be competitors. It could be against the um, will of someone or others, right? Or against the will of, yeah, something. And so they will try first, before you get that prize, try to twist, because it's an optical illusion here, there will end the hanged man. They're going to try to twist what you're doing first, you know, uh, especially with legalities here. I feel like they're going to try to manipulate that amazing message here, um, showing that you wanna, you wanted to do something bad, although your intentions are good. But if you're listening to this, Look at that. That's why the Valkyrie showed up in your reading. This is to show you that these people are just going to try at best. Try at best. You are absolutely protected here. And in fact, instead, with their trials, it's going to go the other way around. The Five of Swords is either a, cup, uh, a card of uh, defeat or win. And I really see that they're being defeated here and you're going to be winning this war. Perhaps you're going to, as you shine bright, you're going to have support, loved support. And the situation here is not going to work at all. It's going to turn into a humongous achievement. So uh, here is your advice with regards to that. In order to avoid this in the first place. Do you see how this moth is um, covering this girl? This girl could be representing uh, the light. Remember, you're a light warrior here. And that's why you're greatly being protected by spirit. And that's why you have the spiritual pl spirit plane, which we're going to talk about it here. Again, this is strong confirmation that nothing is going to happen, right? Uh, you're doing you're doing something major. You're bringing so much light that it's crazy to think how it could have just slipped like that, right? And so the moth is um, the moth is directed towards the light, which shows me that you are a light being. You're gonna do something great. And here is your advice to avoid this whole situation from the beginning and not have to deal with it. Remember, your fate isn't set in stone. It's the energy that you create. And that's why probably you were meant to hear this reading today. One day, when you start on this journey of doing this major transformation, this major change, this powerful change where you're rising to stardom, keep what you're doing on the low in the beginning. Don't talk about it before you release it before it's ready. Hide this light, right? And once it's ready and you've talked and you've spoken to your legal team, made sure that everything is safe. Uh, you've seen it from all perspectives, right? And your legal team confirming, especially the legal team, confirming that this twists and games with the optical illusions and manipulations cannot be done, you would have protected yourself from the very beginning. And perhaps why the Valkyrie showed up in your reading to emphasize on this point, you know, in all cases, you're going to be protected and it's going to go well, but why go through it in the first place, right? So hide and uh, hide, don't show anything prematurely, don't, you know, hint here or there, keep it on the low until it's finished. And then uh, talk, speak to your legal team, because this looks like a big thing. So speak to your legal team. Make sure that your ducks are in a row, that they confirm everything. They do their job with this. And that there are no twists and games that could um, 
that anyone could hit you with, right? This way, you would protect yourself from this and be winning from the very beginning where it slips, but you're protected and bam, it's done. Okay, so moving on from this point, back to the event. This looks like it's going to be a major event in your life. I see with the, uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, before we get into this specific event where you're called to be celebrated, I see with the Queen of Pentacles is that what you're doing here obviously is going to be making you a lot of money. In fact, as I was talking now, I heard in my mind generational wealth. It seems like it's a channeled message that I'm meant to deliver to you. This generational wealth or this huge wealth that you are going to be protected first is keeping you safe because it's in a safe. Another thing I see with the spirit plane, uh, it reminds me of the Merkaba. And the Merkaba is like a, spir a spirit um, spiritual vehicle that helps you move from one plane to the other. So this gives me an idea that one day you're going to be so rich that there's going to be a shift in reality. This shift in reality with all of the green here uh, looks like it's going to be very comfortable, very serene. In fact, your reading begun, begun with birds chirping. I hope you have heard that. So there's a lot of serenity, a lot of tranquility, a lot of the idea of a good, comfortable, beautiful life happening here for you. And it's a shift in reality where you're really living a very different world than maybe what you know today. And so when that happens, the major event here speaks about you being called to be a star of the night. Uh, where, where on that day, you're going to be celebrated for doing something prestigious. Uh, maybe that's not exactly the right word. Prestigious for you, of course, but I mean something that everyone's proud of. Uh, something that is helping a whole community. Something here that will stand the test of time. Historic. Something that's going to be historic. And you will be presented with a prize that day. And they're going to be talking about your character, not just your achievement of how you wanted to help others. Because the Queen of Wands builds her realm and her stardom as she assists others. So you're going to be talked about on that day as one of the few who were... Um, yeah, one of the few warriors in the world that have put themselves out there and put their hearts out there to truly do something great for humanity or their community. Uh, they, they put their hearts and souls and you're going to be called as a really good person who really cared. And so with prestige here, that wasn't a mistake. That was people honoring you, uh, seeing you as an example of how to make a major change and a major difference that really you have a, where you really have a fingerprint in the world, something left for generations to make use of. Uh, and that's why perhaps um, you have some maybe competitors that aren't too happy about. Maybe you're going to be creating, for example, uh, a service or a product that genuinely helps the planet, for example, uh, and it's way ahead of your field. And uh, maybe this is talking about not speaking of things prematurely because others will want to uh, take it and make it their own and twist things where they would say that you took it. So there's hiding here. Do you see? Don't talk about things before you finish them. Uh, before you're done, once you're done, you can start maybe marketing it or talking about it. Keep it on the low. Uh, don't sing it because it, it pulls in the strings of your heart. You're very passionate about it. You could be singing it like singing it means voicing it, saying, oh, I love that. I want to help out. I want to do that. Don't talk too early. Keep it in your heart. Keep it locked and only bring it out and announce it and talk about it 
when it's finished in the right time. Yeah. So, Eight of Wands could be talking about traveling, especially that we see witches flying. So, you may even be traveling to receive that wish. This tells me that this is on an international level, that this prize is not local. We kept saying in the beginning, your country, no. This looks like it's a, you're being called by a big organization, maybe the WHO, the Oscars, <laughs> the Nobel Prize. I, I'm not sure. It's something related to your field. It's international. You're going to be recognized internationally, my dear pile number one, and you will be flying to receive uh, that prize as uh, 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 and at that moment of time you would have made a lot of money where you're living very comfortable and you're living a very luxurious life now seeing these two I kind of feel like something about Egypt here you know something about Egypt Egypt is an ancient civilization one of the oldest I know they say is the oldest, but, you know, it's a, a conversation for another day. My point is it's an old, very old civilization, amazing civilization. So I truly feel uh, it's something that's staying there. Like we said, from one century to the next, to the next, like humanity will be making use of this information or of this product or of this shift or this pioneering product that you've done moving forward. And that's why there's great recognition here, uh, my dear pile number one. Such a really cool reading. I wish you all the best of luck, perhaps one day when you are receiving this uh, amazing prize, you might remember this reading. <laughs> and if you have, do know that I'll be wishing you the best of luck from my heart. May you always shine bright. My dear pal number one, this was your reading of revealing a major event from your Akashic Records. If you've enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And please don't forget to check out my two productivity books. My dear pal number one, these two books could really help you out in your life and in achieving your dreams. The Productivity Handbook, it teaches you how to become a productive person right away. It's all about shifting your mindset and learning specific techniques that can really help you um, not just wait for motivation to come to be productive, but to enjoy being productivity, you know, pro productive, I mean, you know, learning certain techniques that other successful people have done is not about learning to endure the bad feelings, you know, it's learning how to do it in a way that is comfortable for you, that is enjoyable. That is the only way that is sustainable. This book can really shift your mind in so many ways. And if you're interested in checking it out, you'll find a link to this ebook down in the description box. There's also an audiobook. And while you're there, please don't forget to check out the productivity ebook. This book can really help you out along with the productivity handbook where you could find a recipe book of 210 recipes of healthy and delicious meals to pick from uh, that are cooked in a matter of minutes, giving you the rest of the day to do what is important for you. Thus being productive and not having to worry about your health or if you can eat delicious food or how long is it gonna take to prepare it. And for this reason, I've partnered with a nutritionist that I really love and believe in to bring out this recipe book for you. The steps are clear. The nutritional values are clear. The end picture of this recipe are, is clear. The, nav na the navigation is easy. You know, once you want a certain recipe to check out, you click on the ring link, it takes you to the page. It's a breeze. Also, if you're vegan, there's a vegan version. If not, there are no duplicates. Perhaps you can uh, make use of both um, uh, books and you have a plethora of different meals to, ch to choose from. You name it, breakfast, lunch, dinner, uh, supper, snacks, smoothies, salads, you name it. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to love it. It has been done with love. And if you'd like to check it out as well, you also find the link to this ebook down in the description box. And my dear pal number one, this was such a honorable reading 
I wish you all the best of luck one day. Hope you remember me during that moment. It's like we're connecting in time, you know, time is an illusion. And so we'll be connecting now and then together. <laughs> and my dear pal number one, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen the beautiful carnelian. Let's keep it right there. As well as this beautiful card, the wanderer. Look at this person. Take um, holding like three fire branches of trees, for example, uh, perhaps, and twirling it round and round. Even the skies are all round. And you see that figure moving very quickly, making it happen with such mastery. It's almost hypnotical, right? Like it, it sends you into trance <laughs> or something. So amazing. Let's keep your Wanderer card here for now. We'll see how it fits into your reading. And today we're doing something very special. We're taking a look at an event uh, uh, we're tapping into your Akashic records to reveal a major event that's going to happen in your life. Let's find out here. Uh, perhaps this is a showstopper or something. I don't know. It depends on the rest of your cards. Right. So you have the Yera uh, rune. Okay. You have... Ooh, sun in Sagittarius with enthusiasm. And you can certainly see the enthusiasm here. It almost looks like this one, you know. And wow, you have the moon in Leo with appreciation. Hmm. Right. Let's take a look at your tarot cards. See, it says 95. Some of you might even be born in the year 95. If you are, this could be a confirmation just uh, for some of you here. Okay, so you have the King of Cups. Hmm. Beautiful. Okay. You have the Eight of Cups. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. You have the Emperor. Hmm. You have, whoa, the Ten of Cups, beautiful Ten of Cups. Mm hmm. You have, whoa, the six of wands. Wow, it is a victorious moment, it seems. Okay, that's big energy. The emperor, ten of cups, and the six of wands. Wow, certainly a big moment here. Very, very big moment. You have, whoa, <laughs> the sun card. Okay, you have... The Hierophant, you're receiving something here. Okay. Okay, you have the High Priestess. That's the second time we see a book. And last but not least, ooh, you have the Two of Swords. What is going on here? This looks so cool. Hmm. Look at that here, my dear pile number two. It looks like someone has created a book and the audience is receiving it and they're reading it and they're loving it and it's opening up their awareness, their eye chakra and it looks like uh, there's great winning. Also with the Wanderer, remember when we said it looked hypnotic? In fact, 
The yera has many meanings, but one of them is the natural cycle of life. Again, I'm seeing the circles, which kind of tells me that you're going to be creating something that's going to create some sort, almost a hypnotical event, a hypnotical effect on people. And they're going to love your work. They're going to be cheering for you enthusiastically. Oh my God, we loved it. It's going to get straight to their heart. It's going to be passed on and passed on and passed on. I think this means viral, especially that it's going next to, it's in conjunction to the sun card. So Yera also has to do with fruition, as you can see, something coming to fruition, which tells me, especially with the cornucopia here, that this is also going to be getting you a lot of abundance. So work that is very hypnotical, it's singing to people's hearts, people are loving it, they're cheering, you know, it could be like a literal book, it could be a documentary or a video that everyone loves, perhaps going viral, it could be, you, you could be an artist, a musician, you know, your work is going to be going viral. This is a, mo a major event here that we are seeing from your Akashic records. Uh, and Sun, of course, it's like you're going to be seen everywhere. Um, some of one of you here, or some of you may be the next, you know, popular artist. Like, yeah, the next popular artist either worldwide or in your country. Some of you are going to be a, a writer passing on, you know, very valuable knowledge. Some of you are going to be great storytellers that you're going to capture your audience attention. It, the specific work is not really what the reading is discussing. What the reading is trying to show us is that you're bringing your talents into the world, one of your talents or something that you're going to do, people are going to love. They're going to hold you in very high regards with the King of Cups and the Emperor here. <clears throat> They're going to be cheering for you, playing or rereading or rewatching your art. Uh, and you're going to be very much seen. I want to say popular as well, because Six of Wands also has to do with popularity. So if you were drawn to pile number one, that part is in common here with the popularity. Now, two of swords. Before we get into the two of swords, ten of cups is... Ten is an excess of an energy. So ten of cups is being really happy or be feeling the love and feeling included. So ten of cups in this context, especially with popularity, it's people really loving you, having a community that is tight-knit, that is there. I feel this has to do with fans or people who follow your, your writings or follow your art. It's like a community that adores you here, my dear pile number two. So it looks like one day you're going to be crazy popular and crazy successful with art that is almost hypnotical. You're grab, it is, they can't help it. You're very um, attracted to your work. They can't get enough of it. You know how when you sometimes see that type of art and you phase out because it's moving so quickly and you phase out and you almost feel like you're in some sort of trance as this moves round and round and round. And you can't help but get into that trance. I feel like your work is going to have that type of effect on people. They will really appreciate your work because it does something to them. Either fills them up intellectually or fills their heart. Could be healing with the sun. And really, I really see you're going to be held in very high regards and loved with what you're offering here. Now. There's more in the cards here for you, especially with the T. There's more about this event 
that is significant, but you're not, the cards today are not meant to show you more than that. But do know that there's so much more in the cards with regards to this event, and my dear pile number two, that a secret with the high priestess that you will find out about later. It doesn't stop there. But what's more, and the type of harvest that's coming out of it, you're not allowed to know now. I don't know why, but looks like <laughs> uh, cool things are happening, especially with the Ten of Cups. It shows a lot of excitement and a lot of happiness uh, in your world. You're going to be very happy. Now, let's get to the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. Hmm. Oh, oh, look at that. From one power to the other. This is talking about, oh, no, 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 wait, hold on. Oh, actually, I get it. There's this event, the timing is going to happen in a time where your soul may feel a bit lost and you kind of aren't unsure about where your path is taking you. You may even feel lonely in the world. Eight of Cups shows me that this prosperity or this amazing thing could be not just after a time where you're lost, but also abandoned. Maybe you were right before it, right before that even. So the story goes, there was some sort of balance happening. There was, you felt loved. It was a time in your life where you felt loved and stable and happy with something. And then perhaps here you went through the dark night of the soul and something beautiful was taken from you that made you feel balanced and happy. And you went a long way trying to rediscover yourself, rediscover who you are. But this process was necessary, not just for your soul journey, of course, and um, in making you a stronger person with the emperor here, but this, it looks like with the swirls here, it redirected your route or your route to taking, see, redirection of route. I even noticed that with the year on the beginning. Redirected your route to doing. Ah, redirected your route to doing this creative. Uh, well, I did say creative, so perhaps it's a creative endeavor this creative direction or project here that's really engaging your mind and engaging other people's hearts as well as their minds. They, with the Sagittarius, they discover so much and they're enlightened through you. Hmm. Now, this is a major event here in your life not just because of what we're seeing, but it looks to me like the Two of Swords that it's a crossroad. It's a crossroad or a crossroad where you're going to stop living your life in one way and it's going to take a major shift. And it's, of course, in conjunction to the Six of Wands, a major shift where... There is winning in a very unimaginable way that you're not meant to discover about now. But, but from this point onwards, when this major event happens, consider your life has changed dramatically. Uh, and I wanted to say something. I kept it in my mind. I, I want to say something. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I wanted to say that once this... Uh, once you create this community that loves you, you know, avid readers, avid followers, uh, people who really believe in your work, it's like they're 
tight knit with the Ten of Cups. They're there. They, they're, they're, you know, this is like crazy cheering, you know, fans, uh, you know, like when Michael Jackson would show up there, people genuinely loved Michael Jackson. It's not just about the music, the, the, the amazing music that he creates. It's about who, what an amazing person he is, you know, like, for example, um, like if you think of speaking of which Selena Gomez, how people are always there for her. You know, they love who she is as, as a person and what she stands for. And, you know, you name it. Um, I've named two musicians, but really could be in any field. You have a community here that is so passionate about you, very passionate about you. And it's very part, it's a big part of your story here. Uh, my dear pal number two. So starting from this major event in your life, the the rest, it seems, is very big because there's tea here. There's more tea to your story. I wish I can tell you, but there's high secrecy. You're not meant to, to know more about it now, but do know. So Because when we access the Akashic Record, we access what we're allowed to, to access. But do know that you're winning from this point onwards. You're making major, major changes to people's hearts and minds. And that's why they are there for you. And my dear pile number two, this is exactly what I see uh, with regards to revealing a major uh, event in your Akashic Records. I truly hope you've enjoyed this reading. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And please don't forget to check out my two productivity books. The Productivity Handbook can really teach you how to become a productive person right away because it's not about waiting for the motivation. It's not about uh, trying so hard to live the bad feelings and just do it. <laughs> you know, it's about learning certain techniques that makes it easy and enjoyable to do. It's shifting a mindset to a healthier mindset that really helps you become a productive person in a very easy way and understanding what are the things that the tools that can help you do it every single day of your life as you enjoy it and as you feel empowered. And if you're interested in checking it out, You'll find a link to this ebook down in the description box. There's also an audiobook if you love listening to your books. And while you're there, please don't forget to check out the Productivity e cookbook, which is a book that I've partnered with a nutritionist to bring out to you. We've done it with our hearts. It took us so long to make sure it is done in a way that you would love. And the whole idea is to bring out. Uh, recipes that are healthy and delicious and are cooked in a matter of minutes, giving you the rest of the day to do what is important for you. Uh, as you will see, this book is very easy to navigate. Once you find the recipe that you want to check out, you click on the link, you get into the page. Every page has um, uh, ingredients and the re uh, recipes. The recipe is very easy to follow whether you're a good cook or not. Clear nutritional values, a clear picture of what to expect. And there, if you're vegan, there's also a vegan version. And as I always say, if not, you can always make use of both ebooks. There are no duplicate recipes and you have everything from lunch, supper, breakfast, uh, dinner, um, snacks, desserts, uh, salads, smoothies, you name it. I'm sure you're going to love it. It's done from the heart <laughs> and it's going to help you eat healthy and be productive. And if you're interested in checking it out, You'll find a link to this ebook down in the description box as well. And my dear pile number two, all the best of luck. Such a sweet story. Can't wait one day to find out for you what more is to come. <laughs> and my dear pile number two, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen the beautiful Dalmatian Jasper. Let's keep it right there. And look at this card. I feel like it's blowing up with creativity. I wonder what it's about. Uh, or maybe a lot of fruitful uh, events or something. Some, or maybe an event that's 
full of excitement and your heart can't contain it. I'm not really sure. We'll find out together as we take a look at the rest of your cards. This is the shape shifter. And we're going to find out, we're going to be tapping into your Akashic Records to reveal a major event uh, that's happening in your life. Okay. <clears throat> so let's start off with your Oracle cards. So you have the Gebu rune. You have sun in Virgo with health. So much energy here. Venus in Taurus with romance. I would say this is certainly an event that you're going to be very excited about. <laughs> I don't want to say yet what it could be uh, until we take a look at the rest of your cards. So ooh, you have the Ace of Wands. You have the Two of Swords. The High Priestess. Whoa, the, oh, the Hierophant. Actually, it is the counterpart. Okay. You have the Two of Pentacles. This is really cool. Hmm. I think your cards are speaking here. You have the Page of Cups. Mm -hmm. The Seven of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. And you have <clears throat> then the Hermit. Uh, before we talk about this major event, I can surely tell you that this is uh, um, of a very spiritual nature here. Look, I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing here. You have romance and Gebo is... Um, partnership, it's marriage, um, and you even have romance here. So I'm going to take a closer look at your cards because this is this major event that we're tapping into from your Akashic records respectfully and thankfully here looks like either a strong partnership with someone in your spiritual journey, this is a major event here, you partnering with someone um, important, or this looks like, with all of the celebrations here in the shift, shape shifting, a wedding uh, or a, a union of two lovers uh, uh, who are very attracted to each other coming together. You may not be seeing this, whether this is a partnership that's going to be very fruitful, or uh, a marriage, I, m I must say, you do not see coming. For it, it could even be a little bit later than you have expected, because you have the number 62. 62 does not mean at the age of 62. It could just uh, translate to maybe you expecting that type of amazing love that is mature and spiritual, uh, to happen maybe in your early 20s and then it happens in your late 20s or late 30s or whenever really. I, I don't have a specific date, but it's giving me the impression that it's a bit later than you expected. In fact, you're not ex expecting that type of love and partnership for a lot of you. you. may The Two of Swords makes me think maybe some of you even may not want a relationship or want marriage or not see or simply do not see it coming the way it is <laughs> it's really funny when i saw the shapeshifter i thought this reading was going to be taking me to a completely different place uh, and then seeing the cards i was really surprised <laughs> so 
We're tapping here into your Akashic Records and it seems like there is a big partnership going on between you and someone. This is not a partnership that happened in a spur of a moment. It is not a relationship that uh, that um, ha uh, started with a spark and then it started to to init to right away form a relationship this is a partnership that yes did start with with, with a spark in your heart in both of your hearts uh, you can you straight away felt something strong towards this person and them towards you but you you hear one day when this starts you would have taken your sweet time with the seven of pentacles to grow this relationship it seems to me that you are going to be <clears throat> taking it, taking it in the healthy direction where you experience all the levels of a healthy relationship you get the spark you get or maybe first you get time to uh, know each other i believe it's going to start with a spark to be honest with you and then you're going to form uh, an opinion and then you're going to form a friendship together and then this friendship will turn into something much stronger and then i see with the sun card here this could be someone that is going to be uh, inseparable you're going you're going to be staying together because this is not about two human bodies being together with the high priestess and the hierophant these are two souls that have found each other a very spiritual connection by nature one that you will feel very fortunate to have uh, my dear pile number three the event the major event here is not specifically talking about a, a marriage it is mainly talking about a moment of union between the two of you uh, a knot no no i'm very sorry i take that back tying the knot mm, this is talking about your marriage two individuals coming together now, once, now, although this relationship is going to take its sweet time to grow and to uh, form a friendship, I see that your love towards each other is going to grow day by day and your admiration towards each other is going to be, uh, what do they say, non-par, non-par? I can't remember what the expression is, but I, it's like none other. Um, the, the, your love and admiration specifically towards each other is like none other. Because in the Page of Cups, you have Narcissus. And uh, it, if you look at this card alone, you think, oh no, that sounds bad. But you always have to look at the cards in the context of everything. And see what it's trying to tell you together here we see a healthy connection a, a loving connection a very spiritual one so this is definitely here not telling us that one or the other is narcissistic <laughs> but it's rather see i'll tell you the story of narcissus and you will understand what it's about narcissus was uh, looking into the water and admiring himself until one day when he was in such admiration, taking a look at his reflection, he fell into the water. So to me, as a symbol in your reading, this symbolizes someone who admired something so much and because they've admired it, fell into the water, as in fell in love. Water is emotions, deep in love. So I, for this reason, see that there is strong admiration between the two of you. It's like, oh my God, I found the one. I did not see this coming. And even with the Gebo, it's like you're inseparable. We keep seeing these, uh, the crosses, two forces coming together as one. Uh, and I see with the late here, now I understand because you have the hermit and we see a lot of moon cycles. It's kind of like you stayed alone Oh, look at that. 11, 11. Wow. You stayed alone for 
a very long time perhaps with the lock here you it is something that you locked away haven't considered for a very long time <clears throat> when that happens uh, you hermit you've taken care of yourself your spiritual journey and you've obviously blossomed from the hermit to the high priestess here or or the hierophant and <clears throat> you grew you took you took care of your life and that's coming in conjunction to the wheel of fortune perhaps you even took care of your financial life your career your fortune you've worked hard it's, there's a, a lot of focus here on the three on taking good care of yourself being who you want to be first creating what you want to create first and perhaps because <clears throat> the both of you have been very focused very spiritual people have focused on growth and becoming better people and uh, focusing on your journey i wouldn't be surprised that you're uniting to do something together even mm. uh, gebo is both you know marriage and partnership so i wouldn't really be surprised but because you took so much time taking care of yourself you became uh, the person you always wanted to be or even more and i see both of you are mesmerized by each other i can see both of you you can't stop looking at each other you can't stop admiring each other you can't i almost feel like you can't believe you found each other and that you are together both of you are in great health you're looking very attractive very attractive very fiery energy uh yeah um, very presentable. It's like um, both of you uh, are going to be some sort of hot, uh, hot topic. Uh, oh my God. I wasn't meaning to say that, but looks like it, a hot topic. I wanted to say, um, I actually wanted to say an amazing partnership. And then hot topic shows me that, you know, two amazing partners who came together and everyone's mesmerized by um, uh, since hot topic came up by who you are who they are and how you two came together and who you are as a, cu a couple a power couple yeah i would say so this event is describing you tying the knot two of swords making a promise uh, uh, to stay together although you do not see what's coming in the future this shows me trust being able to trust to share your life with someone else giving uh, sharing your future with someone else being able to do that here that's so sweet <laughs> i see your emotions are fired up on that day full of excitement full of love it certainly is going to be a major event in your life because of the way you feel about it you and this person you and this person uh, and uh it's a day full of real happiness real emotions it's like um i can't describe what i'm feeling as i take a look at this shapeshifter card a grand celebration of your love together and the celebration on that day is not the tying the knot itself although that's beautiful it's the unity of two amazing people coming together forever the beautiful thing about this connection is that it's not just based on love and attraction which oof, <laughs> is definitely there but it's of a very spiritual uh, nature two souls who are balanced and who care very much about their spiritual growth and who are calm uh, communicate with each other from the soul here with the hermit from uh, and of course the high priestess and the hierophant um deeply care about one another and is is a steady one you know uh, a connection that it's taking its time to grow properly. Uh, it's taking its time uh, to form into something that is very healthy day after day. And it grows exponentially. Nothing can stop this connection from 
going from amazing, where it's a hot topic, like uh, we said here, but into even, I would say, morphing into something that uh, <clears throat> is unimaginable because as it grows, it, sh it turns into a shape that no one even thought about. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, perhaps as you are able to enjoy each other in that healthy type of way, and it's growing naturally and exponentially, I believe you are going to experience things through this relationship, the both of you, and experience a connection that is unheard of, a connection that has seen things that even lovely couples that are in a healthy relationship have not seen. Very, I want to say superior without the ego. I want to say superior in its beauty, superior in its nature. A very, very beautiful connection here. My dear pile number three, may you be, bl may you be blessed <laughs> in each other's company. This is your marriage day. This is what I see uh, in your Akashic records, respectfully, very uh, happy to have had the opportunity to, with your permission, to tap into it and see a major event going on in your life. And my dear pile number three, if you've enjoyed your reading, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And please don't forget to check out my productivity books. These two books could really help you out in your journey of creating what you want and fulfilling your dreams and doing everything that you want because it's all about shape-shifting your mind, <laughs> really. It's not about waiting for motivation. It's not about enduring uh, tough emotions all the time in order to achieve your goals because that is definitely not sustainable. It's about learning simple techniques really simple techniques that shift your mind uh, to the way you see things into a way that makes it manageable, easy, and enjoyable. And if you would like to check this ebook out, you'll find a link to it down in the description box where you can finally achieve your dreams in a way that you enjoy. This is the intention that this book was written in to fully help you. In fact, I made sure I put the effort to make it simple, easy, and not just, you know, write all these ideas to you. I wanted to make sure that you move from one idea to the other where you absorb it and build on it. And at the same time, make it an easy read because I know that if you already want to beat procrastination, I don't want to have so many things for you to do as a homework to get this information. So it's small, straight to the point. You're not going to procrastinate or waste time reading it. In fact, I had a lot of feedback of people reading it in one sitting. It's very quick. You're, you'll feel like you want to get into the next point. It's full of new ideas that you will love. And so if you're interested in checking it out, you'll find a link to this ebook down in the description box. By the way, there's also an audiobook if you love listening to your books. I know I definitely do. <laughs> and as while you're at it, please don't forget to check out the productivity e-cookbook. This is a vital cookbook that I've worked hard to release because of the same reason. I believe in our day and age, we always now, as we learn more about the importance of healthy eating and our health, we started you know, wondering, should we focus on our careers uh, and focus on our health later? Because it takes so much time to find healthy recipes that are delicious. And then, you know, finding the ingredients and taking hours upon hours of preparing is just, you know, it takes time. Some people choose the other side. They're like, I know my body's my temple. I'll focus on that first and then focus on their careers later. And for this reason, I found it was important to bring out this ebook. Uh, this is an ebook that I've partnered with a nutritionist that I really love and believe in to bring out 210 recipes that are healthy and delicious. And get this, are, are prepared in a matter of minutes giving you the rest of the day to do what is important for you. The, the instructions are clear, whether you're a good cook or not. The nutritional values are clear. And there is a clear picture of what to expect. The nav navigation is clear. Once you decide on a certain meal that you want to check out, you click on the link and you're right there um, because it is a big book. And by the way, if you're vegan, there's a vegan version. If not, you can even make use of both ebooks to enjoy a plethora of delicious 
uh, recipes to pick from since there are no duplicates. So if you're if you would love to check it out, this book has everything: dinner, lunch, breakfast, snacks, desserts, smoothies, uh, salads, you name it. Uh, if you'd like to check it out, you'll find the link to this ebook down in the description box. There's also uh, the vegan version, as mentioned. And my dear pile number three, such a sweet pile. You're going to be experiencing here something amazing that very rare people experience because it's from a soulful connection. And my dear pile number three, I genuinely enjoyed your reading. I wish you the best of luck. I'm grateful we were able to tap into your Akashic Records to reveal to you a major event. And my dear pile number three, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye.